Yo, what's up? This is King Combs. Shout out all Urban Central. Man, well, how are you feeling? You know? Feeling good. It's Liddy. How's life? You seen the video and all that? Yeah, absolutely. I've been bumming that shit all day. Ah, good looking. All day. I know it's at what? How many million? Five mil. That's crazy. It's lit. How you feel? Feel good. Feel fire. Before I can't we wait. Can't wait to drop the next song. Basically, almost ready. Okay. Yeah, a couple more. You got a name for that one? No, nah, not, not yet. I got like a couple names. I'm just trying to decide. I hear you. Man, before we get into all that, just gotta talk about the moment last night with Tiana Taylor, okay? She was a movie, right? Yeah, that. I feel like, yeah, talk about that moment and being able to just, you know, first of all, that song is fire. Nah, um, yeah, facts. Yeah, nah, yeah, that was fire to be able to get to perform that with her, especially like this, her last tour. Right. So. To do that was just a movie, and the crowd was going crazy. So when I came out, I just felt the love like instantly. So it was dope. Yeah, yeah. You know, we real like tight. We've been friends like way before we even both started doing music. So she could just hit me anytime for whatever. But yeah, she hit me like, "Yo, I need you, Palladium." I'm like, "Yeah, let's go." Cause we did it one time at the um at the Novo. It was like our first time performing together, and, and that was fire, so. I was going to say, like, how close are you guys? Because I know, I think your sister came out with Junie, right? Yeah, shout out Junie. She always be at the crib. Shout out Jesse, Delilah, Chance. But, yeah, we real tight. Like, we like family, basically. Right. Can you talk about the making of that record, though? The making of that? That was classic. That was in, like, 2019. I remember she just called me. Before, actually, I called her to do a song. And I sent her something, but we never got to finish it. And then she hit me randomly, like, yo, I got the perfect song for you. Uh, I need it ASAP for my single. And she sent it through. And then, like, that night, we booked the studio session. We did it. It was a movie. Love it. And it was the first plaque, How You Want It, out right now, man. Go stream that. Go watch the video. It's lit. That's your first plaque? Yeah. Stop. <laughs> nah, yeah, that was, that was fire. You got hung in your room or what? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely had to get that hung up. <laughs> nah, she just know what's up. You know she from Harlem, so she been in Harlem shaking like before me. So okay. she she already knew the moves. Like, <laughs> God, she caught the clap. You talking about right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, they, they, that looks like they that. Nah, facts. Nah, she, she know what's up. But now nah, we've done it before, like in parties, so many times together. Like uh, okay. we always be on the dance floor, just dancing together. So yeah. naturally, she know what I'm about to do. <laughs> type. Uh, it feels good. Performing is like one of my favorite things to do. Like just going out there and dancing and just getting the crowd reaction. So I love that. Performing, yeah. Cupcakes and that King Combs show. Pull up. Hey. Uh, <laughs> when, did you, when did you know you wanted to be a rapper? When did you first know you wanted to be a rapper? Honestly, I knew when I was like four years old. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> like that was the first thing I ever said I wanted to do when I grew up. Like, when they would ask you what you want to be when you grow up, I always say, like, a rapper. I'll never say something else. So it's something I've always been chasing. But really, I started taking it serious when I was, like, 16, 17. But, yeah, I told my pops, I'm like, yo, I'm really trying to take this serious. Because I've been saying it forever, and I played him some music. He was like, yo, if you're going to do this, it's no game. Like, you got to really hustle for everything and work hard and no handouts. You got to write your own rhymes find your own beats i'm not going to give you nothing so it was a real serious serious talk but i already i already knew what's up <laughs> nah, facts, I, I got the sauce though can't stop won't stop out now bad boy <laughs> Yeah, me and Kodak, we've been cool. Like, we've been friends since, like, we first started rapping. And, like, really, it was just, like, a mutual thing. We always wanted to do a, a track together. He sent me the song. He, he hit me on DM, actually, like, yo, let's do a track together. I got to send you something. So then he sent it to me. I was like, yo, this is crazy. And I was hyped because, you know, Kodak, yeah, yeah. He sent me the track. And Kodak, one of my favorite artists. So 
for that to even happen was, you know, a blessing. So shout out Kodak. You already know, man. Sniper gang. Wavy sniper. CYN. Can't stop, won't stop. Out now. Five million views and counting. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah, nah, for sure. Kodak, definitely a young goat. Well, we knew each other for a long time. He, really, he just uh, hit me on DM, and that's how we started uh, the song. It's crazy how many people just hit you up on DM. Yeah, nah, facts. DM, Instagram is really, like, you know, great tool to connect. Yeah. So he whipped up the Can't Stop, Won't Stop sample and all that? Yeah, I ain't going to lie. That, that surprised me, too. I was like, damn, he coming like that wow. on some real bad boy, like, that's why, you know, I had to give him the chain, like, and Pops even recognized him as a part of the family because he just came off so crazy on the track. It felt like he was one of us. I literally, like, that song is fire. <laughs> Thank you so much. What was your reaction when you first heard it? When I first heard it, I just said, yo, everybody get out of my way. <laughs> Let's focus on this now. Like, <laughs> yeah, I knew it was going to be a hit. So, yeah, we got the summer anthem right now. Yeah. King Combs, Kodak Black, Can't Stop, Won't Stop. <laughs> Never. So what happened? Did you like get in the studio? Do you be writing? Like how what's your favorite process? Yeah, yeah. I usually write. Like sometimes I just listen to the beat and vibe. Sometimes when I'm feeling it, I just go straight in the booth or you know, usually shout out CYN, my guys, my whole clique, I get with them and just brainstorm on a bunch of ideas and we go in the booth. But yeah, that time when you sent me the track, I was by myself in the studio. Really? Yeah. <laughs> So that, that was fire. Talk about the video shoot, where y'all shot it. Uh, oh, yeah, we shot it out here in L.A., BT Weekend. It's, it was a movie. Yeah. We had everybody pull up, shot it in uh, this warehouse. And really, it was kind of hard to try to keep it a secret because I didn't want nobody to know, like, we was doing the concept. Right. Something kind of leaked on the shade room, and I was like, damn, they got me. But they, nobody noticed it yet, so oh, I, I'm, happy, I'm happy it turned out well. We yeah. could surprise them like that. Best memory from that shoot was probably just me and Kodak chilling back backstage or in the uh, dressing room, just talking about the song, just talking about our vision, like finally coming to life and us being able to do it. Cause it kind of took a while for us to finally shoot the video. So, yeah. Yeah, it really wasn't that. It was just our schedules. We was moving around so much and like different things. So, I'm glad we got to do it though. <laughs> Favorite Kodak song? Damn. I don't know. I'm going to have to go with ZZ. ZZ's hard. Yeah, hey, I like that song. <laughs> Facts. Oh, Lockjaw. Hold on. Lockjaw. Oh, Lockjaw's my shit, too. Yeah, Lockjaw, my favorite. I like testimony. Shout out my boy, Fresh Montana. Bad boy, you know what's up. <laughs> well, nah, most of the time it's funny because, like, most of the time the artists be reaching out to me or usually, like, yo, like, let me go on this hook for you or, yo, let's do this. Like, and, you know, that's a blessing. And, you know, I know I come from a great legacy, so, you know, they probably want to be a part of that or really probably just rock with my music or me as a person because most of the time we usually are friends when I do the songs. Like, me and Chris Brown, I knew him when I was, like, a, a baby. <laughs> we always been, like, tight and had our own relationship. So, yeah, 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 I beat him one-on-one -on -one a few times. He, he know about me. <laughs> CB, I, you know you nice, but you know I beat him, though. Yeah, stamp that. So I might be one of the best rappers in basketball, man. I'm coming for the next Crew League championship. I said it here first. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's a beautiful concept, too, the Crew League. Yeah, nah, facts. But yeah, CB, my guy, at the Crew League, when we played, though, he, he got away. He won that one. <laughs> Most memorable artists I collaborate with, um, I would say Pop Smoke. It's probably the most memorable. Yeah, Diana. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> yeah, Cowboy. That's my guy. Shout out Cowboy. Pop Smoke. You already know what it is. Forever Pop Smoke. Forever KP. That was fire. It was lit. He always like in the studio would push me like to the max because you know usually I like to 
kind of take my time with the song. And he kind of fast and want to do it like real quick. So we'd be in the studio when we was working on that verse. Like I was like kind of taking my time, but we had a whole party in the studio. So he was like, yo, Chris, come on, man, hurry up. What you doing? Like, <laughs> so I had to get my verse out real quick. But I bodied it. Diana out now. Let's go. Yeah, nah, facts. Uh, sometimes they call me C3 though. Yeah. I'm not the one. I'm not the two. You know, it's C3. <laughs> Facts. Oh. How hands on is your dad when it comes to your music and your career? Um, he really let me do what I want to do. Like, he don't really control nothing like that. But I always go to him for advice. He's like one of the top people that I would go to for advice. And most of the time, you know, it's like teamwork. We listen to each other, but. At the end of the day, I'm my own artist. He's his own artist. He got a single out right now. Got to move on. It's lit. So, right. yeah. Um, what's the best piece of advice you Best piece of advice? Probably can't stop, won't stop. Because <laughs> we can't stop, man. It's out now. But, yeah, he always say just, like, follow your dreams. Like, don't let nobody get in the way. And really just give it, like, 110%. Don't halfway do it if you want to. Be a rapper and study rap all day. If you want to be a scientist, study that all day. Are you signed to your dad, Bad Boy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bad Boy, Empire. But we, right now, I'm a free agent, though. <laughs> they were going to ask, do you think that if you wanted to sign somewhere else, it would be no problem? Yeah, but I'm a bad boy for life, regardless, though. Wow. <laughs> That's a fact. It's fire. Yeah, it's lit. I like Empire, Gazi's lit. Have you ever been <laughs> by labels? Like, yeah, yeah, now nah, we got we got a couple of labels, a couple of fire labels. <laughs> Cody's like, can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I'm a bad boy for life, man. CYN. Y'all know what it is. Can't stop, won't stop, bad boy. Juhar. Um, Mace was on Million Dollars Worth of Game with Billy and Wallow. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. He, you know, Mace, it's all love. He, he a bad boy, was a bad boy, but I'm the new bad boy. We outside. <laughs> you don't got any, anything else in the situation? Anything? Nah, nah, it's love. Okay. He know what's up. Yeah. Why do rappers and celebs share and date the same women? You said what? <laughs> Why do rappers and celebs share and date the same women? I don't know. I don't get into all that. I don't like sharing. <laughs> There's been a lot of viral moments from your dad over the years. Has there ever been a moment where you were like, yo, dad, pause? No moment. <laughs> Favorite Diddy moment? Probably. Mm, he got a lot of favorite moments. I like All About the Benjamins, though. Okay. That video was fire. Him in the locks, in the jerseys. That's like kind of what inspired me to do the uh, jerseys for Can't Stop, Won't Stop okay. with Kodak. So, yeah, yeah. that would be a fire moment. <laughs> yeah, soon. We're going to have some limited edition. Might do a prize giveaway for the bad boy jerseys. Gonna figure it out. Sure. I love it. Uh, how do you feel when people say Tupac and Biggie are no longer here because of the death? Yeah, stop playing around right now. <laughs> okay, <I'm sorry. laughs> All right, that's it for them. But um, yeah, talk about like, what are you most excited for? What What can you say next? You said what? You said what? Oh, what are you most excited for? What can you say next? Oh yeah, we about to go platinum, man. Triple platinum. Can't stop, won't stop, me and Kodak. We're going on tour. It's lit. Bad boy. Is there someone you want to collab with? Someone I want to collab with? Beyonce. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that would be fire. <laughs> you, uh, you like her new Yeah, I think it's dope. It's fire. Everything she do is fire, though.
Um, it's hard. I like the sticky song by Drake. Get you in your vibe. It's different vibes. You sometimes you can't listen to it in the same atmosphere. You might have to be like overseas or something. But yeah. it's fine. I don't know. I don't know if it's touching the can't stop, won't stop right wow. now. Though. <laughs> Yeah, I performed it a few times. I'm about to go perform it this Friday in Miami, so it's lit. I can't wait. I know the crowd is going to go up. Might have to run it back a few times. <laughs> It's fire. Like, really, it's a dream come true. I've been wanting to do it for a long time, so I really don't take none of it for granted. Like, whenever I see the fans out there or anything, it's just, it's a blessing. Yeah. Do you ever get nervous? Yeah, sometimes. I wouldn't say it's, like, nervous. It's really, like, just anxious. Because coming up to performance, like, you got to wait, like, a whole hour. You be hearing the crowd, like, getting turned up. So you just be, like, getting, getting hyped, you know? Three things I need on my rider. I need some Listerine. <laughs> I have a fresh breath. <clears throat> Gonna need some Delion. So we sipping on Delion, do not do Bacardi. And we're gonna need a do rag. <laughs> King Kong's do rag. I'm surprised you don't got your own. You have your own? Yeah, yeah. We got Can't Stop, Won't Stop do rags coming out soon. I don't have my own yet, but you're gonna get it. I got you. You gave me a lot of gifts today, so make sure I hook, up, hook you up. Secret to the waves. It's a little bit of the can't stop, won't stop do rag. It's a little bit of this potion I'm mixing up. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give it to y'all soon. I love it. <laughs> what question do you have goals for? Goals for myself. One day getting a Grammy would be dope. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and just changing the world positively, and yeah, making the world a better place and making people happy. Dance. Yeah. Bring a good vibe. Hell yeah. Dope. Is there anything else you want to let us know? Anything else I want to let y'all know is I love all y'all who watch the video. I love all y'all who streaming the song. It's King Combs.